Okay, so this video is going to look at the idea of competitive um, coevolution, and usually this is an example for a potential IA to be used. So um, this one can be found under models, go to models library under the Beagle evolution, one called uh, Red Queen. So open that up and Again, the info box here kind of tells you how it looks. The basic idea here is looking at um, the frogs who are poisonous, the snakes who eat the frogs, and the resistance the frogs, the snakes have to the poison, and the, the poison levels of the frogs. So you can set this up, you can adjust these, and you notice if I set it up now, um, and I go do the number of ticks, you can see that pretty much the average poison, the average resistance stay very similar, right? So as one evolves, the other, the other one um, adapts to it. So the idea of coevolution here in a, in a competitive environment. But the questions then become, you know, how could I change these? Um, so I might adjust these a little bit, set that up. You don't see how that does it properly. So here, if I set the resistance of the um, snakes higher, they eat all the frogs. So there's a whole bunch of things you could change here, right? Um, it's always nice to look at this info is, if you go down, it does give you some kind of some references um, that you can dig around into. And there's lots of examples of this that you can kind of relate to, um, that you can use to draw this, this simulation in and relate it to other similar examples in, in real life, which is a really important part if you're going to do this as an IA is to kind of connect this to the real life, to real life. So I hope this is just a quick little video of, of what you can change here and, and the number of variables you can control, change, and so forth. Okay, thank you.